Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. Today's video is my monthly sewing vlog for August 2020. I started this vlog in January and I can hardly believe that it's now August and it's just been a very unexpected year in a lot of ways. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about all the things that I've been sewing, all the news here at Sew DIY, and little behind the scenes info about what I've been up to. Let's get started. So the most exciting thing of August was I released my summer sweatsuit pattern. This is a brand new pattern. It's pretty cool because it's a two in one. You get a racer back tank top and little short shorts in one pattern. So fun two for one. It's a little sweatsuit set. It's perfect for really hot weather because you can sew it quickly and then wear it all day, all night, and just be really comfortable and not be too hot. There's a whole blog post and video about this launch. I'll put the video up in here and a link to the pattern and the blog post down in the show notes. It's a really fun one, so definitely check it out. The sew along for that pattern has already started. There is a blog post with a tester roundup. And last week I released a video about how to sew the shorts. So you can find those as well as a lot of other really helpful blog posts and videos about sewing with knit fabric on my website. You just go to sewdiy.com, then hit sew alongs and go down to summer sew along and you'll find all those posts. This week I'll also be releasing a video about how to sew the tank top and I'm also working on some hacks for the pattern which I'm going to sneak peek to you right now. So first up I have a jogger style pant that I use, that I made using that shorts pattern. It's pretty fun, super cozy. And then this version has a wider leg pant that's also really nice and comfy. So I was really busy getting ready to launch the summer sweatsuit pattern this month and I didn't post a whole lot on the blog, but I did post one blog post about my Seamwork Dexter pants. So I'll put in a photo here. And then I also did a blog post with tips and advice for downloading and using PDF patterns. If you've never sewn with a PDF pattern before, I know it can be a little unfamiliar. So I did a whole blog post with my tips on how to buy them, how to download them and store them and just all the ways that you can find your best success with PDF patterns. I'll put a link to that down in the show notes. So for makes this month, I was mostly making samples and hacks for the summer sweatsuit, but I did get in a little bit of other making. I made another Seamwork K kind of bra crop top and I like this one even more than the last one. I did another tweak. I took out a little bit from the back shoulder because I felt like that shoulder seam was coming forward a bunch. So I just took out like a wedge inch and a half from the back. And this one is made out of compression fabric. So it's really nice because it actually gives some more support to the bust. So if you have compression fabric, I definitely recommend trying that with the Seamwork K. Um, I made this one to match a pair of black summer sweatsuit shorts. Pop in a picture. Um, I really love this little matching set. It's so sporty and fun. Um, and I'll probably do a blog post about the Seamwork K in a few weeks or so. Um, I want to make another one that's actually goes a little bit longer. I think it'd be fun to try. I'm still working on my single girl quilt or freewheeling single girl quilt. Um, I am almost done. This is the third block in my pink red row and I'm getting close to finishing the final block for that. And then I just have two more color rows to do. So I'm like close to halfway done making all of these blocks. I started sewing this in earnest in March. So, you know, it's a slow one, but it's a queen size quilt. So it's not gonna be fast. Now that I've finished up with the summer sweatsuit, I really want to sew something different and something for myself, not something for a pattern. My friend Amy Nicole recently released a new pattern, the Audi Play Suit. 
and she very kindly sent me the pattern and it's super, super adorable and I'd love to try it out. So I think I might use this fabric. It's kind of this abstract squiggle pattern. It's a medium weight, I think, rayon. Um, so it's opaque, which will be really great and it has some drape to it. I got this as a gift from the fabric store when they were here in town in LA. Um, it's just been in my stash. So I might, might give that a try. Hopefully I have time. Um, doing sew alongs takes a lot of work. So I'm just really bogged down into sew along stuff right now, but I hope to get that moved along and out and then I can do a little bit of sewing for myself. Well, I think that's kind of it for things to do next. Um, just a little bit of sewing for myself, working on the sew along, continuing to work on my quilt. Make sure to stay tuned for more sew along posts, including how to sew the tank and some really fun hacks. I will put links down in the show notes to all the things I talked about, so make sure to check those out. And I hope that you have a great September. Happy sewing.